Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're gonna see how to install MIUI 8 running on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's get started. So before starting, you'll need to download the ROM and the Google Apps, download it from the link in the description box below and save it to your phone or your SD card. You'll also need a recovery, for that watch my previous video. Now start by shutting down your device. And once it is powered down, press and hold the volume up, home and power button simultaneously. Keep holding them until you see the Galaxy S3 logo and then leave them to boot into recovery. And make sure you have the latest version of either TWRP or CWM. Once you're in the recovery, make sure to make a backup of your previous ROM in case the flashing fails or you do not like the ROM. Now head to Wipe, swipe to Factory Reset. Once done, go back to the main menu, hit Install, navigate to the folder where the ROM was saved at, select the ROM and swipe to Flash. The flashing time will be around 10 minutes, so be patient. Similarly install the Google Apps. Once the flashing is done, hit Reboot. The phone should reboot in another 10-12 minutes, so be patient. So the phone has finally booted up. It looks quite good with the black theme. Let's quickly check the Android version. As you can see, it is running on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 with MIUI 8. Everything works out of the box, including network, data, Wi-Fi, calls, basically everything. So does the camera. Both the image capture mode and the video mode work perfectly. It is just that the camera is a little slow to respond. Talking about the features of the ROM, you of course get themes. Second space to make your phone work as two different phones. Also a power saving mode. Quick ball. You can also change the button functionality according to your preferences and your needs. You also get dual apps where you can use two accounts for different social media apps. You also get app log. Basically, all the features from MIUI 8 are present in this ROM with everything working. So you can easily use this as a daily driver. So guys, do let me know what you think about this ROM and do give it a try. So guys, this is it from the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.